they came to me um, through my parents, who um, were in Iran in the early 1930s, and um, the white Russians brought this stuff with them as their only means of currency. They yes, didn't have right. anything else. They were refugees. And that's how my parents came by them. Well, they went to the right place with it because the Iranians are very attracted to this Khwazani enamel, Russian Khwazani enamel, because it's very brightly coloured. And I think they saw a reference to their own tradition of enamelling. They're in revival of 17th century enamel work. This one, most particularly, is not only uh, in revival of 17th century enamel, but it's a 17th century shape called a kofsh, kofsh yes. which is a a Russian wine-tasting vessel. It's, it's a Slavonic object. It's, it's rather like having a sort of three-dimensional Union Jack, if you like. They are spectacularly beautiful examples. Must have been swiped off sideboards from very noble houses yes. just to flee Russia with something. Exactly. This one would appeal to collectors enormously, actually, because it's, um, it's a cigarette lighter, and I think yes. one possibly doesn't really think of these being possibly 20th century objects, really made right. possibly in 1910, 1915. And, um, and a match case probably in advance of the lighter. It would hold, hold matches, napkin rings, salts, and, and a spoon. One of the greatest masters of, of Russian Krasanya enameling um, was a man called Semenov. And I think from the quality of this work that we're going to find that this is by him, and indeed it is. And his business was inherited by his daughter, Maria Semenova. They're very valuable, actually. Have you thought about their value at all? I don't know what they're, what they're worth at no. this point in time, no. Quite, quite nice values, really. Maybe 800 for the lighter. Everybody would be thrilled to find that. Another 800 for the kofsh. Let's mm. say 3,500 for the whole group. Really? How much was that? Fantastic. Well, let's have a look at how it works. Um, these levers pull forward like that, four of them, and then you insert your fingers in like that, screw the screws to tighten up so you have a good grip, and then pull this handle and away you go. Right. And yes. it's for exercising your fingers, a finger exerciser. <laughs> I think it's absolutely wonderful. I think it's probably for people with arthritis and the like. Mm -hmm. So it's medical rather than musical, for instance. I don't think it's for a pianist or whatever to exercise his fingers. I think it's if you had arthritis or something like that, this would be a good exercise for your fingers yes. to keep the bones supple. Yes. How much did you pay for it? He won £15 for it and then up and down a pound. £14. Fourteen pounds. Good for you. Well, I've never seen anything quite like it before, so putting a value on it is somewhat speculative, but these sort of unusual items do have great popularity today. And uh, I suspect if this came up at auction, it would probably fetch oh, 150, maybe 200 pounds on a good day. Yeah, because it's very unusual. Can I have another quick go? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Digitally refreshed. Isn't it wonderful?